sternum chin-ups, the hardest chin-up variation available. Stick around to find out more. Hey, it's Oscar from GoPrimate here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you the hardest chin-up variation that you can find, sternum chin-ups. Now, this one is very, very interesting. They were first made popular by a bodybuilder by the name of Vince Geronda, and I actually personally came across them by Charles Poliquin in his book, Poliquin Principles, which I highly recommend that you have read. It's a great book when it comes to mass building. Now, Charles Poliquin himself in his book mentioned that, that this is actually one of the best upper back mass builders because in sternum chin-ups you actually have three different movement types so the beginning of the movement is going to look a lot like a chin-up the middle part of the movement is going to resemble a lot of a lat pullover and the ending part of the movement is going to resemble a row so in one movement you get three different types of movement types it's squeezed into one neat package and for that reason it's a really great overall back exercise so i think if i will live in that magical planet again where you can only do one exercise for your back I would probably go with sternum chin-ups so the best way to do this is probably with the supinated grip because it's going to be easier this way and you're going to be really retracting your shoulder blades having a real backwards lean pull with those elbows and you want to try to get the bar to touch the lower part of your sternum so just below your chest right here that's where you want to try to tap the bar and you want to try to hold it for a while if you're able to and then come down slowly or as slow as you can but remember, this is a very difficult exercise, so you might not be able to hold it first of all, or you might not even be able to come down slow. But you want to have the intention of holding it and coming down slow, and therefore you're going to be getting way more tension in your back, and you're going to be feeling this really, really nicely in your whole back. It feels amazing. But for most people, including myself, um, this is a very difficult exercise to do. And doing this body weight, it's going to be very difficult to actually touch the sternum to the bar. For that reason, doing this with a band is going to be very relevant for a lot of people, including myself at the moment. So with a band, you actually have a chance of getting the sternum to the bar and having a very short squeeze and coming down a little bit slower than usual. So try not to collapse down, but try to really put the brakes on and really feel the tension building up on the eccentric face. And because it's so demanding, I recommend that you probably do it in the beginning of your pulling workout. So probably the first but at least second exercise in your pulling workout because again a very demanding exercise and for that reason you know probably lower repetitions as well but you can play around with those yourself and experiment around a little bit. And another cool thing with sternum chin-ups is that it's also a skill at the same time. Something that's very hard to do requires a lot of progress so that you can make it smoother and that's why it's exciting because this is not a normal chin-up which a lot of people can do with a clean technique at least a few but here with body weight it's going to be very difficult to do even one and therefore we have a very exciting goal ahead of us which is to get a clear body weight sternum chin up with a really good pause at the top and that's something that's very exciting and at the same time towards achieving that really cool outcome you're also going to be building a lot of mass and developing a very impressive back in general and take your overall chin up strength to the next level so many many cool things with sternum chin ups and i highly recommend that you put this somewhere in your program if you already have a pretty solid base of normal chin ups and if you don't have just yet work on your chin ups and then be excited towards the next goal which is going to be sternum chin ups so this way we can push our goals a little bit further ahead and still keep getting that rewarding feeling we get when we progress in our training so that's why i'm a big fan of sternum chin ups definitely a good way to keep things interesting and exciting in the long run i have a really tangible and realistic goal in terms of achieving because it's not going to be a skill that's going to require that much sacrifice compared to something like the iron cross you know like that something like very intense like that but it's still very doable for a lot of people but it's still a skill that is out of grasp but within reach so that's something that's still very achievable but you have to stretch yourself a little bit to achieve it and those are the best type of goals to have um, those are things that actually keep you motivated and can give you that rewarding feeling of actually achieving that specific fitness goal so that's all i have to share with you regarding sternum chin-ups if you got some value from this video then please leave this video a like it's all appreciated and subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to optimize your body weight ring and at-home fitness training thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye